One business that is taking their support to a whole new level is Pinnacle Airlines. Recently, the airline company gave our students a bird's eye view of what it looks like inside the company. Let's take a look. Pinnacle pilots Chad Harris and Chris Wilson developed the Life Skills Mentoring Program for Memphis City School students to introduce them to both the local business world and workplace skills. Uh, it is it's, it's rich. When I say rich, not in terms of dollars, but just in terms of uh, having the, the, the young students uh, in, a, in, in, a, in an environment of folks who are doing the things that they dream of doing just a few years from now. And if you look at some of the young faces, of the folks who are serving as role models, uh, they are able to relate and say, look, a few years ago, I was right where you are. And it's not so much of just learning the uh, technical side of a particular job, but it's how you conduct yourself, how you dress, uh, how you speak. You can't get that out of a, out of a text. Uh, what we want to do today is uh, we actually start here. What you see behind me is that Felicia Suzanne, a local downtown business owner, and uh, she has provided a wonderful opportunity to come in and to uh, have and dine with her. And she's also wanted to tell us about uh, how she got started in the business of, um, of being in the hospitality industry, and also uh, she's going to talk to them about um, uh, the hospitality industry as a whole. Uh, from there, we'll, uh, we'll proceed on towards One Commerce Square, our new home, the Pinnacle Airlines. Uh, we'll meet with the architects and talk with them about how what they're doing to uh, to expand our building and how to make our new home more efficient. Uh, from there, we'll be trailing on to the Memphis Music Foundation, where our students will learn about production. Then we'll proceed to Sachi Clothing. Uh, this was found, this business was founded by two young gentlemen uh, from the Memphis area, and they have taken an opportunity and a chance to start a business and a clothing line for themselves. So the students will be allowed to design their own shirts and wear their own shirts. So they're really excited about that, followed by going to Impact Memphis to learn about why we want to keep our talent in the downtown area and, and actually the city of Memphis. And then we'll top it off with a Memphis uh, Grizzlies game. It takes a lot to take one step into unknown, but once you take that first step and you see what's out there, you're going to be like, okay, it's a lot out, a lot out there that's, you know, good. Today we've got some kids from, uh, from Central with Dale and White Station uh, and they're visiting the, the Music Foundation along with Sachi and a couple of other uh, for-profit and uh, non-profit businesses uh, and we're basically showing them what we do here in the Resource Center uh, and actually down the hall we've got a little mini uh, workshop going with uh, Isaac Daniel who's one of our program assistants who leads all the tutorials and workshops uh, in our digital audio workstation studio so he was actually demoing a software platform called Reason and uh, teaching these students how to build a track and um, you know, about signal flow and some of the basics of digital audio recording. Education is so important specifically to the success of business. I mean these will be the, the generations that leads the economic development of our cities and communities in the future so letting them not just to see the the academic side of you know things like math and science and, and English but letting them see how the application of those things applies in the business world um, how we use things like math and how we use communication inside of a inside of a, a business walls uh, I think it's a unique opportunity for them gets them out of the classroom a little bit lets them see how hard sometimes running your own business can be and, and all the complexities that come with it Memphis is not what you see it as um, usually we get caught up in our daily routines, just going to school or going to work and then going home and maybe hanging out. But there's so much more to the city that we've never seen before. You know, so many other things that we could do in our own city that we have no idea of. 